I bless everybody watching this video. Just wanted to tell a story about experience that I had at a church service. And now church hurt is, is some real stuff that actually happens. And I just wanted to tell this quick story and let you know that we always follow God no matter what. But yeah, I was at this church service and I was I was praying and I was on my knees and I opened, opened my eyes and it was a girl manifesting the Holy Spirit like her hands was moving. And normally in different ministries, they teach you to bless these people's hands. Just put your hands on their hand, put your hand on their hand and just bless it. So that's what I did. I believe like the Holy Spirit was telling me that like time after time after time again. So at first I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So when I did this, Afterwards, I got up and the guy comes back to me and taps me on my shoulder. He's like, hey, how would you feel if you was in an encounter with God and somebody disrupts it and and you interrupt somebody's experience with God? And this dude is just continue to talk like and you're not God and you're pride and you're arrogant. I've been watching you and you're not on the ministry team. You're not supposed to be doing nothing like that. So. I'm just listening to this dude talk and I asked him, let's go outside because he was being super disrespectful. I just know in the streets, I've been in the church for a few years now and nobody's never came up to me like just disrespectful and just crazy like that. And he was like, I run this place. This is my, I, I do the things around here. And I'm like, man, this dude is crazy, homie. So I said, let's go outside. He didn't listen to none of that because I know before I would have punched him right in his face. But that's when I, Jesus tells us to love our enemies, to love people. So I didn't do it. And the Holy Spirit just said, just bless him. So I just tapped him on the shoulder. I was like, I bless you, man. And I went and sat back down. So the girl that he, he uh, the girl that I touched, put her hands on, I blessed her. I went and asked her, I was like, did I do anything? I apologize if I did, if I disrupted anything like that. She literally just turned her head and didn't say anything to me. So I'm like, man, that's crazy. Then I asked her again, did I do anything? Did I do turn her head? Wow. I'm like, man. Then she said, then I asked her like the last time, I was like, what does that mean? Like, she was like, oh, nothing. Just turn her head. So I'm like, God, I believe you told me you kept on putting this in my mind because you get words of knowledge and, and God will speak to you. He speaks to me and I hear him. So I know this is from God because it just kept on going back in my head, like, bless her hands, bless her hands. So when I did it, this this is happening. Like, this person was like, I seen you the whole time. I seen what you did. I seen her pull away from you. Like, she got up when I put my hand on her hands. She got up for, like, a few seconds. Like, I, her hand, my hand was there on her hand. And she got up from it, like, a five seconds later. And he was like, I seen her pull away from you. This and this and that, you're not God. And I'm like, man, God, I was kind of hurt about that. I'm like, God, you told me to do this. And like this person's over watching me and ready to rebuke me. <laughs> he was ready for a time to, to watch watch me and just, it was crazy. So I'm like, I was hurt about that. And I told my wife about it, like, oh yeah, he was manifesting demons and this and this and that. So I was still in my feelings, like, man, I was still in my feelings. I was still kind of hurt about it. So I got home and I was still thinking about it. I was like, man, it was on my mind so bad because it never happened to me like that before. And it was like God was setting me up somehow. And um, I started blessing the person that came up and talked to me like that, was disrespecting me like that. And I blessed the woman, I blessed the church, and I blessed the wife. Um, and then the Holy Spirit started talking to me. And he said, the reason why that happened is because I want you to love that person. I love that girl and I'm killing your flesh and it's not about you, it's about me and it's about the way I see my children and about the way I see them. And I started, the Lord started showing me that they need love and to love one of them. And I was like, wow. But before we got out of that service, the Holy Spirit told me to go up to that guy and just say, you know what, man, have a good night. Happy New Year. I bless you in Jesus name. And he didn't even look at me. He just, <laughs> he acted like he was paying attention to something else. But people need love and God has called us to this church and don't let nothing stop you from what God is telling you to be obedient about. You know what I mean? They crucified Jesus. They beat him up. They punched him in his face. And we got to take that, that persecution. It's not really persecution, but we got to take 
with people saying like that and just know God is telling us to do things and still go for it. So I just wanted to bless you with this video that anybody who's been church hurt, just keep on going with God and keep on loving on him and keep on doing what he tells you. I bless you in Jesus' name.